okay? And, and, and to pay to get your word out. And that's important. You've got to control your message. The medium is the message. Was it Mark or whatever it was? But the, 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 those are, these are lessons that were, that were learned from back in the 60s and the early 70s. Don't, don't get it twisted. Social media is how they control you. They can tap everything you write. They can, they'll know who you are, who you're talking to, and when you said it, okay? So what you want to do is make sure that you control what you say, how you want it to be heard, and, and, and print it in a newspaper, because they can't control it. They cannot control it, okay? And then something like this gets, and you know what happened to the Phoenix, the first issue of 2012. We went viral, okay? We went viral. Now, that works, that works, but you've got to have the basic platform that you have control of, okay? So I'm using this as like a little bit of a teach-in, okay? Because I think, I don't, maybe maybe the whites have been at this longer than me, but I don't think anybody else has been, and maybe the Dominicans, I don't know. We'll have to, we'll have to figure that out. <laughs> yeah, Deb, yeah, Deb and I were, yeah, we were at the Peace Center up at, up at uh, on Park Avenue. But there was another thing that I wanted to say, okay, and it's about education, okay? Not everybody is educated the same, and not all education is equal. And Leonard Pitts was another person who had a powerful message that was here last week that got squelched, was squelched. There was no media, there was no media that, that recorded what this man said, and it was profound, it was absolutely profound. And there's another book that he he was uh, uh, recommending, that, other than the books that he wrote, and it's called The New Jim Crow. And if you're looking for something to get behind, you got to read that book. It is dumbfounded. It's, it's, it's just stunning. It's absolutely stunning. Because I had written a piece two or three weeks ago decrying the condition of black America and saying, there's something going on. There's something going on. And Leonard Pitts came to town and put his finger right on it. And if you read that book, you read you, you read uh, the new Jim Crow, it's, it's what's all in there, okay? And it's basically mass incarceration in an age of color blindness. And they have, what has happened through the drug war is they have concocted a means of directing African American men into the prisons. All right? Now, what he said was with, if only 12% of the drug dealers are black, 35% are arrested. 55% of those black men are the ones that are convicted. And 75% of those are the ones that are sentenced to hard time. Now you flip those other on the other, on, flip those around, and there's somebody else getting off, getting away, when black men are ending up in jail. And when they come out with a drug felony conviction, they can't vote, they can't get a job, they don't have social status, they can't, but there's all kinds of, you know, other things that they can't do, all tied to this felony drug conviction. And so in effect, it does exactly what Jim Crow laws did without having to say, we're doing it to you because you're black, all right? So I, I, I think that this is something that really needs to, to, to be uh, brought forth and discussed, and this book, Every judge, every elected official, every clergyman, every 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 student needs to read this book and really deal with the implications when the United States imprisons more of their ethnic minorities than anybody in the world.